Hey, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. So I needed to fix my vacuum flush system, but I needed the pressure tester tool in order to fix it. And I got a little bit of sticker shock when I saw the price for just the tool. I decided I can build one for myself. So I went from this price to this price. Let me show you what I did. Hey, so I bought this very expensive uh, fuel pump and vacuum gauge tester from Harbor Freight. I think it was like $13. And what I'm going to do is convert it to a vacuum flush pe uh, pressure tester for uh, the vacuum flush system on my boat. Let me show you what I did. First thing you're going to need is this plug you can get at uh, any local hardware store or, or Home Depot. Just check before you go to Home Depot because they're spotty at best. Your best bet is your local hardware store. Just ask them for a tapered rubber plug. And I think the uh, diameter is one inch. I then bought this rigid uh, piping or tubing, sorry. Uh, that I uh, purchased again at the hardware store. I bought a foot of it. Not going to need much because you have some of the other line that came with the, uh, the other kit. So I bought some of this rigid tubing so it'll make it easier to go into the fitting. So basically I took a 3 16th drill bit and uh, what I'm going to do is drill it right down the middle of the plug. You don't want to go too big here on your first attempt because you want to make sure that your line is securely the best way to drill this would be on a vise, but I don't have one because I'm on my boat. So I'm doing it this way. Please be careful if you're going to try this and don't drill into your hand or fingers. To fit this line into this hole. Obviously, you could see the difference in size. And I'm going to go up to the next size bit, making sure, again, I don't go too big. Uh, that will cause trouble and have this thing slip out. You want to make sure that when you push your rigid line in, that it's sealed nicely around the rubber fitting. Good news, it slipped right on because uh, the black line is a soft rubber. This is more of a rigid tubing and it slipped right on pretty good and uh, everything seems to be secure. I'm going to give this, uh, put this all together and give this a try and let you know how I make out. So I wanted to show you what I did here. Just going to basically put this end in that hole and generate, put the pump on. All right, so I got it all hooked up and I'm now going to put the switch on for the toilet and see if we generate any vacuum. starting to notch up a little bit so that shows it's working slowly going up and I'll let uh, let this build up and then I'll come back on okay well this is a separate issue the uh, the gauge works great what I made here works great and it'll save you a lot of money if you uh, have priced out the vacuum flush pressure tester um, tool that they sell, uh, 80 to 100 bucks. Um, all in for this uh, for under 20, maybe about uh, 16, $17, definitely worth it. I still have to fix my toilet, unfortunately though.